Hello and welcome to my webinar jam review where I'm going to be giving you a demo and walkthrough of this live webinar presentation software so you can get a good idea about how it works and of course more importantly how it's going to benefit you and your online business. If you would like to check out webinar jam I will leave my link in the description where you can actually grab it and follow along with me. So let's begin. Something great about Webinar Jam is its ability to get up and running. This is beneficial because you're not going to really have to pull your hair out when it comes to getting configured and of course setting up everything that you need to. As you can see right here when creating a new webinar, there's going to be Express Configuration and Full Configuration. First I'm going to go through Express and then show you how quickly you can get up and running. Then I'll actually show you in the live presentation to show you how you can operate it and so on and so forth. So let's go with Express and then after that we'll do the full configuration just to show you the bells and whistles. All right, so here we have, we have right now, obviously you go right away, you don't have to wait, you can schedule it for later, you can do always on, where it says the room will be reserved and always ready for you to log in on demand. So that's a good one if you're like really going live very constantly, you just wanna go in, hop in, do your thing, and then you know be on with life, but I'm gonna go with right now. Let's click next. All right, so we have our basic settings. This will be an image of you, your name, your email. If you want to add a new presenter, you can do that. This is going to be the webinar name, which is private. So you could just put something, you know, as long as you know what the webinar is going to be for. Webinar title, as an example, I put how to double your sales without increasing your traffic. That would be a pretty good webinar, right? There are plenty of ways of doing that too, just so you know. It's not a... Like I did make up this title, but it is possible to do. Um, description, all the tips and tricks that your online business needs. Webinar language, we're gonna go in English, but in case you wanted to get fancy and do something different, here's a list of the languages. Let's click on save. All right, and we are done. I kid you not, like I said, up and running. You can do very quickly. Let's click on finish and go to dashboard. So I simply clicked on running a test and give it a few seconds and we're gonna get up and running and I'll actually show you on the inside of it and what it looks like. All right, so this is going to be anytime you run a webinar, I would recommend doing this, especially if you're new to it, obviously, just to get the hang of it. It's always a good thing to do. It's the same thing if you have a sales funnel and you're doing a new product. Make sure you run through, make a test purchase that everything flows nicely. You know what happens here, what happens there. Same exact thing here. So we have links for attendees, whether it be to the link to the registration page, embed in your website, or a direct link to live room. We have presenters, of course, that's going to be me. And of course, we have replay. So we don't have a replay, so we don't need to do that. So given the fact I'm going to be the presenter, let's go to the live room. There's also going to be a control panel as well, but I believe that's one of the higher perks. But nevertheless, let's go here. Let's just go to the live room. All right, so we made it. And what I wanted to do is keep this open because it's gonna give you a good idea of how this works when you get to your actual webinar. So this is gonna give you the instructions here if you click on start. So we have, these are the main controls that allow you to turn on and off your webcam, sound, share your screen, or use a whiteboard. So for example, like this, I'm just using the webcam just to kind of showcase what the screen's gonna look like because it's just a test webinar, right? But you don't always have to do that. My webinars have generally been just like presentations, you know, like slides, slide decks, so on and so forth. So that's gonna be we can edit that stuff. Down here, this is the video area that you're broadcast to your attendees, obviously, as we can see here. Uh, the sidebar menu contains all your tools for the webinar and for interacting with attendees. There's quite a lot of good things we can just kind of scroll through and I can show you there. Then if we click on next here, it says we're almost done. Try all the options you want. And remember that by clicking on the phone icon, you will launch the webinar and go live. Okay. And next, cool and close. So this is also going to be something it didn't bring up is the panic button. So once again, I um, don't quote me on this. I'll have to check the pricing, but this is going to be something that's on a specific pricing plan. It's helpful because if something ever goes wrong, which happens like, you know, it's no webinar solution is going to be a hundred percent perfect, but if it does, it relaunches it and puts the attendees in another room so you can get up and running very quickly. So if anything's to ever happen, it's kind of like hitting eject, but just restarting it. So it's pretty beneficial that way. Aside from that, we can look here. There's going to be all the things. We have our attendees. We have the chat, Q&A only if you want. There's going to be polls. So you can do polls, which is pretty helpful. So what did you think about this? You know, would you like to see more of this? You can obviously get a feel for what your audience likes on the webinar if they want more information like that. Or if you're like transitioning to a, say a pitch, they're like, you know, do you think we should pitch this product? And you're saying like, yes, we probably should. This is just a transition. Just kind of spouting off some stuff here. Offers, obviously. Offer name, headline, image, message above, text within, button link URL. This is obviously going to be very important if you are doing a you know a live webinar that's actually going to a pitch or to a product. Not all webinars do that. Some are just complete FAQs. Some are walkthroughs. Some are tutorials. Okay, you can add extra videos, so there is the ability for that. So while I am talking or maybe I'm doing my presentation, you can stop it 
add a video and then go back to where you were. You have files in case you wanna upload those. That's gonna be very beneficial, say, where if you come to your webinar, say, if you stay to the end, you're gonna get this free gift that shows you how to X without Y. Whatever that's going to be, that can be the file. And once the end of the webinar comes, you can obviously showcase it where they can download it and so on and so forth. If you want to add some presentations for the slides, you can do that. If someone wants to speak, raise your hand, okay? No request pending, it's just me here, obviously. And then, of course, agenda. If you wanna add any notes, save an update. And that's pretty much gonna be what it looks like in terms of like some of the features of the functions and how they can benefit you overall. So let's go back to Webinar Jam and I will walk you through more of setting it up. All right, so that was the express configuration. Let's go to the full configuration, which is take, gonna take a little bit longer, not a big deal. Like, like it says, this is perfect way to explain it. Simple and quick, but flexible and powerful. Obviously, given the fact you can customize it a little bit more, it's gonna take a few more minutes, but that's not a bad thing. If you wanna get up and running, you saw that is literally just a couple minutes, right? And once again, let's just say we're gonna do right now. Okay, and what I like about Webinar Jam as well with EverWebinar and Kartra, it's all under the same company. They have the same step-by-step -step process for getting anything up and running. So obviously when it comes to your webinars, you're gonna notice you're just simply going through this, to this, to this, to this, to this, to this. And every single section here, once you edit it in or add in your text or whatever it's going to be, you click on save and go to the next one. So it's a step-by-step -step process, which I really like. If you're a technophobe, Fear not, okay, it's pretty simple to walk through. That's why I like doing the demo. So for this, I'm just using the same example we did before, how to double your business. Obviously, if you want to add a thumbnail, business as usual, upload it, you'll be good to go. Let's click on save. Okay, so webinar presenters. Okay, so we have, in case we are the presenter or moderator, you can change that around. So this looks good, let's keep that how it is. All right, so you can use Webinar Jam Live or you could use YouTube or Facebook. I've personally never used those before, so it's really up to you. But if you want the option to do that, you certainly can. We can direct it to your Facebook page or profile or obviously on your YouTube channel and audience. So if you have a really big YouTube audience, like that could be something you can certainly do. But let's go with Webinar Jam Live and save. And you'll notice it's like save, 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 next. All right, so this is gonna be no need to configure this because remember we did choose a right now webinar, so it's simply gonna open up as soon as the configuration process is completed. So we can go with that. Okay, so registration is gonna be the same thing. If you wanna password protect it, you can certainly do that. Okay, same thing when it comes to notifications. I'm kind of glad it's doing that because a lot of this is self-explanatory, which is a good thing. So email autoresponder integration, there's usually questions about what does it integrate with. As you can see here, there's gonna be a lot of the basic ones. Uh, Get response, keep, Aweber, Kartra, ConvertKit, Drip, Zapier, Constant Contact. The good thing about Zapier is that Zapier allows you to integrate with so many more, like say email autoresponders. So that's always a good thing if you wanna do that. But uh, pretty much all you would do is just grab your API key. So say with get response, you're gonna go down there, add in your API key and connect, okay? So let's just say we wanna save. And third-party tracking systems, this is always good if you wanna say track sales. So what happens is if you wanna utilize something like that, you can put your Facebook ad tracking there or really gonna be up to you. It's very flexible with that. So I know a lot of people usually have the question of where can I put my Facebook pixel? There you go, let's click on save. All right, so now we can move into the, some of the finer details. We have Agenda, which is gonna be powered by AI. It allows you to organize your webinar to manage your times and topics you wanna cover. Your agenda will be visible for your reference throughout the whole webinar. So if you wanna plan it out, that's gonna be something that it can allow you to do if needed. I'm just gonna click on save. We have autoplay. So disable autoplay. The video will not be played until the users decide to click on the video. Or we have enable autoplay, which is gonna be muted. We have image and text to display. So we have start to broadcast. So that's a good way to kind of get up and running. So what they do is they click there and then they can you know start seeing you go live. We have the live room design. So if in case you wanna make it look a little spiffier, all right, here's gonna be some of the different looks with the colors. And of course you can change around the theme right here. So if you click here and change that up, uh, that's another way of doing that. I'm just gonna go with this one. This one looks good. Let's click on save. Polls and quizzes. So this is something we mentioned before, whether you wanna add a new poll, you can do that in here. Product offers, obviously this is gonna be very important if you are selling any type of product offer or service, or maybe you're just going to a sales call, right? It could be for coaching, see if they're a good fit. You're still gonna to wanna to have some type of call to action. It's gonna make life so much easier for your attendees. Instead of saying, go to this really long URL, I'll say like, you know, click the button on the right side to get taken where you can fill out the form. We can sign up, um, get you on a call and see if you're a good fit, obviously. So you're gonna have your button, the text, the call to action, and so on and so forth. So very helpful, obviously. 
Video injections, I talked about this previously. If you wanted to add a video, so say midway through, talks about how it will seamlessly switch from live video and audio signal to the video signal and back to the live when it is done. So it's like you're doing your live performance and then just like that, here's this video we wanna watch, now let's get back to it. Okay, so if you wanted to do that. So a lot of these things we talked about, so we have file handouts and slide presentations too. So nevertheless, let's go to save or next. So we have the webinar replay recording. If you wanna add access to it, you can. If you don't, let's keep it as it is. Let's click on save and next. And we are finished and just like that. Very straightforward process when it comes to getting up and running with Webinar Jam. So I do want to talk about that one point where you can actually test out Webinar Jam. I will leave my link in the description. And if you follow along with that, you'll get taken to a page that looks very similar to, let me grab it for you. All right, something like this. And the cool thing is that for a limited time, depending on when you're watching this, you can use this at your checkout to save 35% on your first payment. So really cool. So what you want to do here is click on the green button, whatever it's going to be, get started. Okay, so, and here's the neat little trick that you can utilize. So I'm just going to go to monthly and all you have to do is take your mouse if you're on desktop and just go to the top. And just like that, you can get a $1 trial of Webinar Jam. So the cool thing about it, like I said previously, you can actually just test it out instead of actually going through and paying for it. So that'll give you an idea about how to get up and running. In fact, you could probably use my video just to kind of walk you through, see if you want to utilize some of the specific features based upon what you're going to be doing for your live webinar. So overall, that was a very quick kind of demo and walkthrough overview of Webinar Jam. So let's cap this off and I want to give you my closing thoughts when it comes to this Webinar Jam review. Overall, Webinar Jam proves to be an exceptionally effective and reliable platform that you'll find invaluable for hosting your webinars. Its intuitive setup means you can get up and running very quickly, making it a perfect choice whether you're new to webinars or a seasoned pro. The platform is packed with features designed to boost your engagement and conversions, including interactive polls and call to action buttons and so much more as it was showcased inside the live webinar room. Moreover, Webinar Jam has been around for a long time, consistently adapting and evolving, which highlights its dependability and commitment to users like yourself. So if you're looking for a robust, feature-rich platform to connect effectively with your audience, Webinar Jam is definitely worth your consideration. So that's gonna conclude my Webinar Jam review. I hope you really enjoyed it. So if you'd like to get started with Webinar Jam, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, you can follow along with the instructions to get that $1 trial as you see on in front of the screen. That about does it. Thank you so much for watching my webinar jam review i hope this helped you out and i hope that you crush it with your webinars